Hey, what's up guys? So I've been told that the KFC in Saudi is the best KFC in the world. Not just one person told me, not two, not three, but at least 500 people told me that KFC in Saudi is the best. Now, obviously I am a connoisseur when it comes to KFC. We're gonna find out if it actually is the best. So let's do it. Nice. They just smell nice. No, no, we're not recording. Please. What do you say? So, so no more, no food. So what, no more chicken? No more chicken. But we came all the way from Dubai. No, 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 no chicken. Can't lie, already an L, but we move. Whew, all right, so got the chicken. As you can see, it's green. Hey, I can't wait to try this. Let's go home, bro. This smells so good. This smells so good. Ugh. All right, here we go. As you can see, starting off, it's green. It's not red. I like that. It's different. Saudi, ah, oh, already. 12 isn't the max that they do. 24 is the max. I've never heard of a place that's 24 pieces of chicken, so I had to buy it. So already it's heavy. Ooh, I'm doing a workout at the same time. So they're thinking about, you know, you doing a workout. I like that. Just to start off with, yeah, okay, it's greasy, but it's meant to be greasy. They put the receipt there, that's not too bad. As you can see, they cover the chicken. In the UK, they just put the chicken, this is just the only cover. See, they, they cover it, boom. And then straight chicken, bruv. The straight chicken, mmm. Ooh, all right, on smell out of 10, I'm gonna give it a 9.9 .9 out of 10. You know why? Because nothing's perfect. Actually, you know what? Nobody is perfect, and you are nobody, because you're perfect. Anyway, let's do it. All right, let's dive right into this. So we have the coleslaw, uh, we've got chips, and we've got the chicken. But this, so this is the main part. No one cares about this, all this. I mean, the fries, eh, I'm not really a fry guy, but I'm a chicken guy. We're gonna find out. This will be my, uh, my plate. It's the worst plate I've ever seen. All right, fine then. Bang, we've got, we got a better plate now. Have to try a drumstick. Ha has to be a drumstick. Smell is divine. It's good. So it's from Saudi, so you know this chicken is halal. Inshallah. So the minute I take a bite, the meat just falls off the bone. That is already a, an A plus. The chicken actually tastes like real chicken. It doesn't taste fake. If I just leave it on my tongue, it'll, it'll melt. It's like I'm having ice cream right now, but it's chicken. It's, it's hot ice cream of chicken. It's delightful. It's crispy to perfection. It's oh, like the skin is just, I'm gonna use my favorite word. It's phantasmagorical. It's to die for. Seasoned to, it's like Romeo and Juliet. Mm. When they both met, it was amazing to begin with, right? And then towards the end, it like starts to disappear. Mm. But then it comes back. So it's like Romeo and Juliet too. I made no sense, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the happy ending? All right, uh, Shrek and Fiona. There you go. All right, so let me rate this chicken. I can't lie. Chicken, it's solid nine out of 10, but it's not better than Japanese. Japanese KFC, still hands down the best. The thing with Japanese KFC is one piece of chicken with Japanese KFC will, can fill you. This, I need to have maybe two, three, then I'm full. Japanese KFC is still the winner. I'm still yet to try Korean KFC because I've been told that Korean KFC is the best. Saudi, you're not bad though. Saudi's good. 20 times better than UK. UK, I can't lie, is probably the worst place to get KFC. Do not waste your time. Like, it's disgusting. It sucks. Would I fly from the UK to Saudi to have your KFC? I would, I'm not lying. Japan, 100%. But Saudi, you're up there. You're, you're up there. In the rankings of all the countries, Saudi, you've like, you're like there now, okay? UK being like here, Japan being on top. I guess that's it, really. Amazing chicken. Have a good day. Mm. Mm.